Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In a previous video, I showed you how you could very easily deploy Hugging Face models to Google Cloud using inference endpoints, our very own model deployment service. And I told you there were other ways to do this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you way number two, which is start from the hub and deploy Hugging Face models using Google's machine learning service called Vertex AI. Okay, and this will give you more control and let you work with the Google Cloud Console. Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you do, please don't forget to enable notifications so that you won't miss anything in the future. Also, why not share this video on your social networks or with your colleagues? Because if you enjoyed it, it's very likely someone else will. Thank you very much for your support. Just like in the previous video, let's start from the Hugging Face Hub. And last time we deployed Google Gemma. Let's try something else. Why don't we try, yeah, Microsoft Phi 2, which I find really interesting. So click on Deploy. And this time we won't select inference endpoints. We'll go for Google Cloud. Okay, and if you're logged into your Google Cloud account, this should open the, the Google console immediately. If not, it will prompt you to, to log in. Okay, so let's maybe zoom in a bit here. So we see everything has been uh, filled in automatically. The model, um, we get an option to deploy on Vertex or Kubernetes. Um, but uh, I guess maybe I'll do Kubernetes next time. We'll stick to Vertex for now, which is quite simpler. Uh, we get to pick the region. If you want to deploy your private model, uh, you have an option to enter your token. Uh, we don't need to do that here. Model name, model uh, endpoint name are filled in. And the, the best instance type is automatically selected. Okay. And we could see we are using TGI. And we get a sample request. Right? So why don't we save this for later? <laughs> and click on deploy. Okay, so let's just do this. And it starts deploying here. Uh, we see the, uh, the little uh, progress indicator. And if we click on this, we're taken to a pretty useless place. What you really want to see is Vertex online prediction. Okay. And we can see it's deploying. So I've got one uh, that I already deployed in the interest of time. We could see some uh, monitoring information here. It's not super busy at the moment. And if we go back to the model garden, we see this thing view my models, which is what I want. Okay, and this is the one that's already been deployed. So let's just click on this. All right, so let's just, let's just paste this example, call predict. See how that goes. All right, yeah, we did get an answer. And of course, we could use the, the Google SDK and, and whatnot to, to do the same. That's uh, not really the point today. Um, just really wanted to show you how simple it was to deploy those models um, from, uh, from the Hugging Face app straight to Vertex, okay? And of course, when you're done, you shouldn't forget to delete <laughs> your models, right? And delete your endpoints, particularly, to avoid unnecessary charges, okay? All right, well, that's that's it for uh, deployment technique number two. And we have one more to go, which is uh, deploy from Vertex directly without visiting the Hugging Face Lab. So check out uh, the last video of this series, okay? Hope this was useful. Keep rocking.